What's going on, y'all? So listen. What's going on, y'all? So I'm back for another little quick video. Um, first of all, let me just tell y'all, I'm, I'm about to put up another video about the purge. Is this video just a vent? And I really can't stand when people do this at work. I just want y'all to put down y'all frustrations that y'all be having with people who be trying y'all at work, trying to get y'all in trouble, trying to snitch on y'all. And you know, damn well, shit didn't go down the way that it went down. This may not seem about much to some people, but bitch, this got on my nerves and it made me mad practically half the whole day while I was at work when my, co um, my boss told me this. So while I'm at work, I work at different locations sometimes, okay? You know, I be at one location trying to help out here, and then I be at my main location. Sometimes when the other location um, uh, be fucked up or whatever, they backed up and they need some help, they send my department down over there to them at Hell Washington or whatever. You know, y'all know I used to work there. That's not my main branch or whatever. But, so I don't mind putting that out there. But, um, I helped them out. Okay, so it was my turn to go down there this week. Now, I work Monday through Friday this past week. This was my first weekend now. Everything was good. I get to work, and the fucking security guards, let me just tell y'all, I get it. Sometimes you need to take your job serious, but, you know, these security guards, y'all are trash, all right, especially the one that came and talked to me. Y'all been trash since I used to work down there permanently. Y'all been trash, okay? There was only a couple of security guards that I used to, um, you know, actually fuck with. Other than that, and they don't even work there no more. So, I come to this location, not even that often, but only one time for an interview or something that I needed to go on the ninth floor, which is where Human Resources is at and all that shit. No, the 10th floor, I should say. You need to be buzzed in. I get that. Any other time, I just come on through, especially when I have to start at 9 o'clock. That's exactly when the library opened up. So, you know, the employee's supposed to be there before then, you know, so you can go ahead and set up and all this shit. I get there to the library. Uh, I go swipe in. Now, I have my fucking ID on that says City of Chicago employee. You know, you see me going to the swipe in machine. Do, 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 boop, boop. So, I'm going upstairs. Why is it that... You run your ass, I'm on the elevator, just so you can get catch me on the third floor to tell me some shit talking about some. Well, pop, you, you're not supposed to just come on in here, you know, um, you got to get a key card or you got to get called up by um, a manager and all this stuff. I said, for fucking what? And it was like, I mean, I know you work here. I seen you here before. Well, bitch, if you seen me here before, you know that I work here. Obviously, I'm a staff member saying that. I came in and you saw me swipe in and you didn't say nothing after I swiped in. You know, don't come running and chasing after me like I done stole a book or some fucking office material when I just came into the goddamn building, bitch, okay? Policy my goddamn ass. It's a whole bunch of shit that changed up in that motherfucker since I've been there. And I'm just sitting there like, we're not finna do this today. First of all, you know, the Uber... <sighs> You go in all different types of directions just to get somewhere. When I'm sitting here telling you, bitch, just take State Street. I don't want to get on the expressway to get caught up on that bitch. But, bitch, since you done passed that shit up, we couldn't even do it anyway. You taking all these routes going here. And I said, so this is how the day is going to start off, huh? We going to start off with this fuck shit. So we got the Uber ride where you going this way, that way, this way. Took me longer to get to work. Mind you, I was on time. But it still took me longer than it needed to because you couldn't just take the simple route. Then you got the security guard all up on my dick. You know what I'm saying? hypothetically, figuratively speaking, you know, to those that want to take shit so literally and they just were like, oh my God, Ashley, yes, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm in my feelings a little bit. Okay, Kiki, do you love me? No, no, I got to stop. Like, y'all are wearing that song out, okay? It's going to be wore the fuck out just like y'all did boot up, all right? But anyway, um... I get up there finally. Like, he talking and shit. Mind you, I see him every fucking time I come up there and you never said anything to me and as such. So why now? Why now? Your supervisor see me all the time. He never sees nothing. So why the fuck now? I was just uh, annoyed by that. Okay? Plus, my stomach was hurting and I was trying to get into the bathroom before anybody else got into the bathroom because I had to blow that bitch up. 
I mean, it happens. It happens. The best time to go is when either everybody is out or before everybody come in. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be like going to the bathroom and you doing your business and shit just happen and somebody be like, who the fuck is that? And you be in the ba- bathroom stall just turning red as shit because you like, damn, bitch, am I really that? Yes, bitch, that's you, okay? Clean your ass out. You know what I'm saying? Drink you some fucking water, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> anyway... So I'm in the, um doing my job. I'm thinking, oh, I don't have to see my supervisor today. You know, she cool or whatever. But sometimes you just you just want to be relaxed because you come up to this job and you know my supervisor got a lot of restrictions. It's not really that strict, but it's she's so bad a book. But she's a cool person, so I don't mind it. And in this area, when I come over here, I can do whatever I want, you know what I'm saying, as long as I get the work done. And they don't even check and see if we're doing the work or whatever. Um, because technically, we don't. that's not really our location. So, I guess they're very, very lax up there. I can turn on the computer and have, you know, Hulu or Netflix or whatever playing on the computer and have it on the speakers or whatever. I ain't got to put no headphones in. Ain't nobody going to bother me. That's how I mostly like to do my work. All of a sudden, out the corner of my eye, an hour or so into it, bitch, why is it that I see this little person walk past and I said, God damn, there go my supervisor. And I was just hoping she wouldn't come over there and say, now you know you're not supposed to be doing this. So I could say, it don't matter. We not over there at our location. We here and they don't care. Okay. But she just minds her business, went over to somebody else's desk and started eating some shit. Fine. I'm finna go on the floor. She called me over and was like, girl, I just got to ask you some questions because, you know, I just want to come talk to you for the simple fact that there was a patient who had a complaint against you and my other co-worker who worked Friday. And I was like, what? You know, at first I said, don't get on the defense, just hear her out. And you want to know why? Because usually when somebody accused me of doing something and I have to explain myself and I know that I didn't do it, it pisses me off to the point where you will see this light-skinned ass bitch turn red as shit, okay? And that's because I'm getting pissed and you're not going to embarrass me. But in this case... I didn't turn red or nothing like that because you know why she didn't accuse me of nothing. And this is why I respect my supervisor. She knows us enough to know that, let me just ask just to ask and don't accuse and, you know, just tell her what happened or whatever. And before she can even get it out, she said a patron came in when it was time to go. I said, you talking about the girl who came in trying to turn this DVD and this museum pass at 5 o'clock when we was closing? Uh Uh-huh. This bitch, okay, and I don't give a fuck who she is because now I'm mad. (laughs) I'm mad because what you won't do is try to lie on me, try to get me get disciplined at work or whatever, thinking that it's going to work, but bitch, the shit backfired because my boss believed me because I told the fucking truth. This bitch tried to lie and say that we refused to take her stuff and my other co-worker was just standing over there at the swipe machine. And she over there trying to figure out why she was standing over there. First of all, it's none of your goddamn business. Second of all, she was standing over there because she literally just got over there because it was 5 o'clock. And we were rushing because we were swiping out late than what we usually do, okay? We was hurrying up, shutting stuff down. Now, the policy goes, we are open on Friday from 9 to motherfucking 5, all right? Business hours are between 9 and 5. Do you understand that? There on the door, it says 9 to 5. Okay? So, I don't understand what about that she didn't understand. You come to this um library frequently, so don't play dumb. It's after 5 o'clock. Okay? It's literally probably a few seconds after 5 o'clock, or it was probably a minute after 5 o'clock. Either fucking way, it's after 5 o'clock. The systems are shut down. We're about to clock out. We're closing the door. You getting your feelings because you can't check out stuff or or return a museum pass. And you can't return the museum pass to no other library. You got to return to the library that you get it from. So you throw the DVD in the slot, okay? You throw it so it goes past the bin. You throw it with so much force, it goes into the middle of the goddamn floor. And I said, I know this bitch didn't. This ignorant ass bitch. Now, she ain't hear me say that because the bitch was sitting at the table going off with her daughter. Now, see... This is the shit that I don't like. 
you getting your fucking feelings because you came late and come to find out, you know, my coworker was like, did she put the um, music past in the DVD player in the DVD box? No. Now see me, I would have did that. Even though technically speaking, you're not supposed to put the um, pass in there like that because it can get lost, but it's in the DVD case. We seen the DVD case, whatever. We would have got it in the morning, okay? And it still would have been on time if it was on time because we would have backdated because technically you did return the stuff on that particular day. But no, bitch, since you want to have an attitude, you can't do that shit. Go away. My coworker, this is what really got me pissed off, right? My supervisor then goes and tells me that this bitch going to say, I was standing out there on my phone when she could have been helped. Baby, I was on my phone after 5 o'clock waiting for my motherfucking Uber to come through. Mind you, the doors was locked, okay? So when you're trying to trick on somebody, make sure you tell the whole fucking truth, okay? Now, I could see if I was on my phone inside the thing and, you know, we was just lallygagging around and just being assholes and it was like five, four minutes, three minutes left and we could have took you or whatever. No, bitch, it was literally five o'clock, okay? And you trying to trick and all this shit and you can't even to make yourself look good. And the only reason why she said it, and I know she said it on a Saturday, bitch, the only reason why she said it was because we were not there that weekend. We did not work that weekend. We were off, okay? So my supervisor was there. And she said, bitch, let me just check it with y'all. And I'm just, I said, you can check. Because we do our shit by the motherfucking book. And then come to find out the bitch just didn't want to pay the fucking overdue fine. But you still had to pay the overdue fine because the past was already a day overdue. It ain't my fault that the shit was due on Thursday and you tried to fucking bring it back on Friday. And now you got a two day late fee because you had to bring it back up there on Saturday because you missed the fucking time. That ain't my fault. That shit pisses me off. Okay. You know, my job is part of working with the public, and it's a part of customer service. And I'm pretty sure some of y'all working cup cup worked with customer service, telemarketers, or you know, telecommunicate, whatever the fuck, you know, retail stores and all this shit. Put your experience down on there. Where the customer just be trying you. Fuck that shit with the customer and the patrons always right. Fuck that bitch. I'm right, okay? And if you gonna trick on somebody Make sure you got proof, okay? And make sure you tell the whole fucking story. I just had to get that out. Like, a bitch really fucking tried me, okay? And I cannot wait to get back up there in my regular location because I'm going to make sure that Ashley don't take no days off and I'm going to see this bitch again because she gets stuff regularly, okay? And when I see that bitch, I'm going to be like, so you had an issue? You had an issue that you felt the need to lie on me? I'm dead ass going to do that shit because what you won't do is try to fuck up my name, my character, and my fucking record, okay? Bitch, you're not, all right? Y'all tell me some of y'all little fucked up stories because I know it got some because I be reading the comments. Y'all be like, girl, motherfuckers ain't shit. And I be like, show the fuck ain't. But y'all tell me how y'all felt with that and I'll see y'all later.